So, it finally happened. Miyasaki-san gave us the trailer for Dark Souls 4, I mean Elden Ring. If you don't know what that is, pause this video, go watch that trailer, and come back. Seriously, I'll be here. Okay, so welcome back. If you're like us, you've lost your mind and you're probably thinking, what in the world am I gonna do between now and January 2022? Lucky for you, there's plenty of Soulsite copycasts to fill our time until Elden Ring drops. Except, calling Ashen a Soul Psych copycat really isn't fair. Yes, it's definitely a Soul Psych, but while most games just slap the mechanics over a new coat of paint, Ashen takes everything that we love about Souls games and breaks it down to only the most essential elements. Call it Minimalist Souls, Soul Psych Jr., what have you. This game was made for the co-op bros, and we have a hunch you might right, love it three, too. 3, 2, 1. Ah! <laughs> She's in. She's weak, bro. I don't care. I'm attacking yeah, you. Yeah, oh, kill her. Back up, back up, back up, back up. No! Oh. <laughs> when the boys get did wrecked. Not, did not see that coming. Holy guacamole. Wait, what happened? How did we get hit? Right off the bat, Ashen makes it easy to play in co-op. The system used seems obtuse, but pretty quickly becomes simple and organic. For the first 40 minutes, you'll be playing solo with an AI until you hit Vagrant's Rest, the game's hub. You'll need to complete a quick mission that has you establishing the town. Once that's done, you need to exit this area, which you can usually tell if that's happened by your character bringing out their weapon, and then simply press up on the D-pad. This beckons a partner to come to your aid. That's it. Like no, seriously, that's it. Now there are some quick system settings to take care of. You'll want to turn off the AI partner and also set a password to ensure this always works with the person you want it to work with. As for progression, you both will share your accomplishments as you discover quest markers and defeat bosses. However, just like in any good relationship, you'll want to be sure that you're always on the same page. If one person is ahead of the other, you won't be able to share progress. This translates to, if one of you dies in the middle of a dungeon or a fight, the other one's going to need to wipe two in order for there to not be any progression desync. So be sure you and your co-op partner are okay with going at the same pace. Other than that, overall, meeting up with friends in Ashen really could not be more efficient. Hey, yes. dude! <laughs> yep, sorry, sorry hobo. Oh, <laughs> oh crap. Oh, there's more hobos. Oh, the hobo's revenge. <laughs> They were they were waiting out for us. He was the trap. <laughs> Seriously. Their, their, their one friend was. Ashen can be described in a number of ways. It's a souls like, it's an indie game, but really the best word to describe it is like Andrew said. This game is so efficient. Efficient with your time, its gameplay, and pretty much everything in between. For a souls like, Ashen really changes things up by trimming the souls fat, so to speak. There's no leveling up, no complex math required to keep up with stats, no magic system, which really hurts me to say, and even the weapon upgrades are as basic as it gets. With all those systems made so simple, it really frees you up to simply enjoy the game. You spend less time on menus and more time exploring and being present. Playing Ashen is like fine dining. The portions may be small, but you can really taste what each individual item brings to the plate. This less is more approach permeates every part of the game, and for the most part, it works like a charm. Oh yeah, it's dying. right here, dude, it's right here. Whoa, yeah, that's so cool. Let's go do batterings and then let's go back. Once we've done them all, then we wanna go let's back. Let's start with the gameplay loop, where you start to see what Gabe was talking about with efficiency. The game uses a straightforward quest system that is anything but vague. I like to compare it to a Dora the Explorer episode, where everything is given to Dora, and I kinda like that. Each quest is separated by character, and it's easy to know what is your main quest versus your side quests. We'd usually set off with a quest in mind, and see how many others we could cover while we were out. After receiving fast travel relatively early, that gameplay loop is made even more efficient. We'd go out, conquer an area, complete some quests, and swoop back into Vagrant's Rest. It was easy and kept us from feeling any common souls-like fatigue. The one area that doesn't necessarily benefit from this whole less is more idea is combat. Remember when you first started a Souls game, all you have is a mace or a longsword and you're just this giant noob with a huge target on your back. But eventually you get a unique weapon with interesting combat ramifications. Yeah, that just doesn't happen here. Each weapon is very similar to the last and that's disappointing. 
we kept expecting combat to ramp up or there to be an interesting late game magic system, and there just wasn't. They have perks and runes to differentiate your build, but again, it's pretty minimal. It makes boss encounters a lot more tense. For the most part, that could be good because it strips you of all your usual tricks. Gabe did not have the soul arrows that we're very used to at this point. But it's also frustrating because honestly, the bosses were the hardest part of the game. It's not detrimental to the experience, but we would have liked more here to keep us surprised through the short 15 hour campaign. That's the meta. on your enemy's meta. Co-op the meta. Co-op meta! Co-op meta! <laughs> Overwhelm your enemies! Oh, and this... help each other climb up ledges! <laughs> this is the meta. You might be thinking, with minimal build possibilities, what's the co-op really about? Well, there's a silver lining to the small arsenal in that Ashen becomes more about what you experience together and less about becoming dual killing machines. That's a little abstract, so let me explain. There was this moment in the game where we went through this desolate area full of ash, climbed through this long staircase, and made it out through this single doorway that opened up to this amazing vista. No way, dude. Wow. It's beautiful. Dang. With all the gamey stuff simplified, exploring Ash and semi-open world together becomes super immersive and sometimes even rewarding. Between quests, one of us would often point at something in the distance. We would then rack our brains on how to get there, and sometimes we'd even get rewarded by finding a rare item like a feather. Maybe the best way to get this point across is to say that Ashen is more about the journey than the destination. I know, I know, that's kinda cliche, but hey, it doesn't make it any less true. Whoa, dude, this looks so Whoa, what's that city up there? Do you see that? Yeah, dude. Dang, this Definitely looks so good. Whoa. I'm just taking a second to admire all this. It's just like amazing. Look, if you're a Souls fan and love to play those games with your friend, Ashen is an easy win while we all wait for Elden Ring. Our one critique is the combat, but pro tip, look out for the two-handed maul. That really helps spice things up. Oh, get mauled, baby. Oh, get mauled. Oh, jeez. Oh, get mauled. Oh, how helpful is that shield, buddy? <laughs> to sum it all up, Ashen is never overbearing in its systems and will let you just enjoy a quick and fun campaign together. Can you really ask for more? I don't think so. So call it Indie Born or Ikea Souls, what have you. But Ashen is a great co-op experience that deserves your attention. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We're a bunch of Souls-like fanboys, so getting to do this review was a ton of fun. We also want to thank anyone who's tuned into our Twitch stream this week. We're just getting started and the support means a ton. You can find the link to our stream alongside our other socials down below. If you liked our video, please share it with a friend. It always goes a long way for us. As always, see you next time on another episode of The Co-op Bros. Just die, Ukono! Right here, right here, right here! Don't get greedy! Don't get greedy! I got greedy! <laughs> okay, he got greedy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> worth, that was awesome. it. worth it <laughs> worth it <laughs> the second golden rule of dark souls sometimes get greedy <laughs> <laughs> that's right